Hi, my name is Riley McCluskey. This podcast was recorded at Longmont Public Media. Today, we have two guests with me, John McCluskey and Liz Tucker. We are talking about motivations with some advice from Boulder Valley School District principals. Some of the information in the podcast didn't record, so I'm just going to share my intro and some content for this podcast. Now we will let John McCluskey share some advice and motivations for ninth graders. This is where I want to take. What am I interested in out there in the world? You know, every time you have a big change, you get to notice more and more about who you are and who you want to be. So I think that's a really fun opportunity and gives you really a chance to kind of be more introspective. So often we'll make students really nervous about the workload and all those kinds of things. And, you know, it turns out that, you know, teachers don't want to overwhelm students. So that, you know, the, the workload isn't as scary as people think it is. And, I think just having a good summer and making sure you're rested and ready and, you know, not being too worried about being overly prepared. Just do the work that's being put in front of you and, and learn the systems. And so it's, it's not as much of a stressor as I think people put on it. I think, well, that's why, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm trying to think of other items that might, you know, kind of be important is to think about other ways you want to attach to school clubs and activities and sports things like that, ways that you want to be involved in school that aren't just classwork. I know where I'm the principal now at New Vista High School, we just have lunch clubs and after school clubs and just so many different ways for kids to get involved and and stay interested in school. My first question is for both of you is which role models give you advice? I have this really fantastic teacher in fifth grade, and I also had her again in eighth grade. Her name is Mrs. Gifford. Really hard and also care really hard about everything that you're doing and about the people that you're working with. So if you have a balance of those two things, leaning in hard to, to what you need to do to get, to get it done. As a kid and through adulthood, I've always kind of been a bit of a worrier and um, worried about long-term things happening, you know, long-term projects and breaking things down. Um, and it's kind of an interesting metaphor, but he used to always say to me, how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? So, you know, you just got to kind of chip away at the work and you'll get there. You just kind of got to get started and um, take it piece by piece. And that served me really well. That's something that I tell kids too, um, because a lot of times I think our worry kind of eats us up and then we freeze. And so this is a good way to kind of just jump in and do what you need to do. Thank you, Liz. Yeah. I had an aunt that reminded me on a regular basis that while you might be, um, you might know a lot of things, it's important to listen, to um, to just hear where people are at and make connections and build relationships and, and then, you know, see where you can contribute. So her, her idea was always to stay right sized, to kind of not be less than you are and not try to be more than you are, but just be who you are. Good. Thank you. I do have one mom, which I did take out earlier, but I'll say it again. Uh, this is for Liz. What is it like to be a first-time principal as a 10-year middle school? That's a great question. I had a really fantastic mentor for the last few years. Um, his name is John McCloskey. <laughs> um, so I feel like in a lot of ways, I'm, I'm really prepared, and I feel like I know a lot of what I'm going into, and I'm able to just kind of go in with confidence that I know kind of what's ahead of me. Um, but it's also a little scary, you know, at the end of the day, I'm the person that answers all the questions and is the person that has to come up with all the things that we're doing. And, you know, I'm the person that is at the front end whenever something goes wrong or goes well. Um, and so that's been a layer of pressure that I'm kind of working through right now, but Overall, I've been really happy and it's been really fantastic. And I feel so lucky that I'm at a school that I've already been at, working under someone that I really looked up to um, and just continuing a lot of that work that's already been done. Thank you. 
Now we will do some inspirational quotes. Oh, I forgot that part. No, it's okay. I got mine. Johnny yeah. can do. Mm. Oh my worst. gosh! Do one of your like Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'll I did, give you uh, one. I, I well, I I think I said that one. So you know the one that also says I do have an Abraham Lincoln quote that I keep around that I like. It says I might be a slow walker, but I never walk back. And that's I, a good one. I, I always appreciated that one. Yep. <laughs> you can always rely on John to have a quote on hand for any situation. Um, my my favorite is from Maya Angelou, and it's a really really famous one. I've learned that people will forget what you said people forget what you did but people will never forget how you made them feel that's an important one to me because wow. i think you know people have really strong connections to how you make them feel and i always want to make sure that kids especially when they're coming through middle school feel supported and feel seen and appreciated for who they are great that's a really good one Liz. thank you i'm gonna say don't stop believing yes <laughs> in and thank you both for coming in well, we appreciate you for drawing attention to schools and schooling and school leadership. And it means a lot to us that you decided to highlight this in your first podcast. Huh, thank you. Thank you so much, Riley. It was such a delight to be here with you. Oh, sweet. Thanks.